up guys welcome back to the channel good morning it is wednesday at 4 a.m just the first time picking up a morning load like this i mean to wake up early in the morning to get a load uh not bad not bad but uh, we just about to get to the pickup location right now uh, this load is going to Amazon to Amazon, so we'll see how it goes. So I know for a fact this is a fulfillment center. Uh, the last time I, I think one of my first, very first loads was from here, and it was Amazon to Amazon, and I think I'm not, no, 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 I'm lying. It was from the other location to this location. So um, this is the first time. Picking up from this location, from this Amazon, going to another Amazon. So I'm not too sure if I will have to load myself or they will load me up because it is a fulfillment center. I have access, I can get into it. So I just want to see how that works. Um, right now, it's my pickup time is, is 4:15. It's 4:06 right now, and we're getting to the. Uh, to the gate After right now. 600 feet, you will reach your destination. Uh, there's like three or four trucks. So this guy right there making a left, he's probably going to return his temporary badge to get his license back. That's what most guys do. Uh, you have reached your destination. So this the destination right here, they have, the they always have two lanes open, so not going to sit back behind the semi trucks once you get here there is a number you just text instead of uh, checking in with the guard so once you do that then they'll just give you where you're supposed to be going but you can't text it until you get to the very front so I still have to wait for the truck in front of me to to go before I can uh, send the the load number to them. So yep, that's what it is. Uh, and you also have to send your plate number, which I forgot already. I don't even remember it. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, this is definitely something new. Uh, and we'll see how the traffic is. We'll see how the traffic is going to the to the other location. I don't think it should be that bad. Um, even coming back, cause I should be done by if if I load myself, then it'd be it'd be quicker, it'd be faster. I mean, um, so I should. I should be done with this slow by like 6.30, 7, the latest. Um, yeah, be home by like 8, the latest. So, it's not bad. Uh, so, we're about to text this number. And see what gate they want us to go to. Looked like it was starting to rain, but uh, I don't think it's going to keep on raining, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, let me get in here and see what's up. I'll get back to you once I get loaded up. All right, so I was expecting less trucks right here, but there's a lot of box trucks right now loading up to go to the post offices. Uh, I wish I had put it on here, uh, I just passed them. So, as you can see right now, I think I'm going to get loaded up because. I'm over here where all the you know the trailers is the semis come to so <laughs> that's a good thing um, uh, I don't know I'll see what they say but I think I'm gonna get loaded up which is good and there was a lot of box trucks right now loading up to go to the post office um, one right here passing through right now 
There's a whole line of them right there by the gate try, uh, checking out. And some still parked in front of each other, you know, waiting to get loaded. So that's that's crazy. I thought it was just a midnight type thing. So right now I'm gonna go inside and see what they're talking about because I don't want to just wait out here and then next thing I'm not getting loaded. So. Let me go and do that real quick and I'll get back to you. Man, ain't that something. We got here about 4.10. Right now the time is 4.35 and your boy is loaded up already. You hear me? We are, we about to be on the road right now. So, um, I had to load up myself, but they were bringing the stuff like right by the by the by the truck. They can't get on the truck, so they were just bringing all the, the stuff right there, and I just piled it up. It was a lot. It was most of those uh, the ones on the on the wheels, whatever. And I only have like two pallets that I had to do. There's still like four pallets left. I told bros like this is this ain't gonna fit. Maybe if they were the ones loading up them themselves, it might have, but. He already the scene, he's like, nah, I knew it, was gonna, it wasn't gonna fit, and you know, I got another truck coming, so. I guess the other truck that's coming is only gonna have four pallets and is getting paid the same amount as I'm getting paid, which is crazy, because I'm, I'm loaded up, and they're gonna be carrying four pallets only. Um, but um, I did have a lot of spaces in between. I don't know how to do them. Like, I don't know how they do their they, they stuff. That's why they probably do load themselves. So it is what it is, as long as I'm getting paid enough, so. Um, and yeah, so this was easy because I thought I was gonna be done by like seven. It's, 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 it's looking like I'll be done by by six. Truth be told, cause it take me an hour to get to the other Amazon and then about 25, 30 minutes to get home. So that is not bad at all. That's like working two and a half hours. Dang, that's that's nice right there. It's definitely, I swear to God, if I could do this every time, get to the Amazon, load myself, I'd be in and out. I don't understand why they take a whole hour and a half to load you up. Like, they be bringing the stuff where I don't know where it's coming from. Over here, everything was just lined up, ready to go. You know, and I'm doing it myself, so. Larry took me less than 30 minutes. Not even, 20 minutes. And I was done. That is nice, man. That's like two hours of work right there. I, I left the house. At about 3.30 Took me about 35 minutes 40 minutes to get here Stopped there a while to get my coffee And um, You know I could be back home and everybody Still asleep <laughs> that's, that's for real Like I could be back home and everybody still asleep Like they don't even know I left and came back That's how crazy this is Um I actually went to bed late too. I was in bed like 11, 30, 12. So I only slept for like three hours. But that's really all I need, man. I felt like I was just dreaming about loading up in trucks the last three hours of sleep. Like I just be looking, I just be dreaming about trucks and loading up. <laughs> so you don't really get a, a good night's sleep, to tell you the truth. Um, so once I'm done with this load, um, I'm gonna go home and I'm be chilling all day. Unless I find a day load, then I might just do that. Um, but I am coming back this side at, I have another load, Amazon to Amazon at 8 p.m., 8.15, like we did last week. I have one of those. Um, so that one, I get loaded up and I uh, unload my, I, yeah, I unload myself. So um, if I could find a day load that's, you know, coming this side, uh, like I did last week, we'll take, we'll pick it up. Then we'll just have to wait out here till by eight. Then we should be done by midnight. That could be three loads in a day right there. 
Um, so yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. You know, so. My coffee is still hot. <laughs> um, I just don't like this rolling thing you did. You know, you can't really secure them like that, but they got brakes, so I just put brakes on all of them. Uh, take him, to take him out, it should take me literally like 10 minutes to take him out. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think I'm probably gonna beat all the traffic I was worried about because ain't nobody gonna be on the road at 4.30 at five in the morning so we should be good on time wise going that way and coming back this way um yeah man this is definitely you know i can get used to this you know uh i'm not really like a morning person but um it's just it's just a vibe just a different vibe when i got loads i i, I just you know i'm just i'm just wide awake just wide awake so, yeah. But anyways, uh, let me get on this highway. And say it's 57 miles from here. Um, yeah, yeah, 57 miles sounds about right. Because coming back from that location, say about it's about 25, 30 miles to get back home. So I'm like right in the middle of you know all the Amazon. So. But this is taking me back on the turnpike, so that's why it's probably saying 57. Let's see how if let's see what happens if I pass the exit to get on the turnpike. How many miles it is actually from here? Um, it's not raining yet, but it's kind of like drizzling right now. Not as bad as you know, not bad. It's just nothing, not nothing major. Um, so I'm not getting on the turnpike. He wants me to get on the turnpike. I'm not doing that. So we're just gonna go back to 295 and take it all the way. So let's see how many miles it's, at. it's going to change. All right, so we actually make up 59 miles. So it's actually more miles going this way, about probably three miles. But hey, three miles, no tolls. I'll take that. And it's still the highway, so it's all good. Anyways, um, I will get back to you guys later. All right, y'all. The time is currently 6.06, .06, but I could have been done earlier. So tell me how I didn't know that there was another Amazon close to the one I thought I was going. So I got there and the barcode didn't come out. So I'm like, well, what's going on? Make a U-turn. I'm like, it's telling me to go somewhere else. I go around the block, came back to the same spot. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Now this little location right here is across the one I'm used to going every time, and I didn't even know it was an Amazon vicinity. What is that? So as you can see right now, I'm about to. There's no. There's no guard shack. There's no nothing. You just get in. You just go inside the building. Um, so I'm just trying to show you what it is right here because I'm coming out right now. There's no guard check, no nothing. We're about to make a right over here and we're about to go to the one. Matter of fact, that's not even the one. All right, we're just going to try to find our way out of here because I'm really confused right now. All right, so, okay, I made it right over here. All right, so we're coming out from here. And that's not the right way either. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. Ah, all right, so we're about to make a U-turn right now. Um, I just wanted to show you how close they are together because it was like 0.7 miles get to your destination. I'm like, what? There's another Amazon around here. So, all right, so we about to pass. This is the Amazon right here on the on the left right here. All right, so, all right, yeah, I came out this way. All right, so, <laughs> so the 
one that I'm used to going. So as you could totally see, uh, it, it's a different address and everything. This one is 23, 2320. So I'm like, all right, well, let me find my way back. All right, so we're gonna make a right over here. So we, all right. So as you can see, you can't really see it from this this road right here. So I'm I'm driving. I'm getting over here. Now, this is the Amazon on the left side, right over here. This is the one that we're used to coming to. As you can see, this is the entrance, and you see the guard shack over there. This is the one we used to come to. 22, 20, 22, 77. So I'm lost. I'm like, whoa. Where am I going? Because this thing is not saying that I have, I've arrived to my destination. And I'm like, all right, let me look at the address. And it's totally a different address. 2233, whatever. It's not the same as 2277. So, I don't even know what to say right now, man. But it seems like Amazon got a lot of facilities all over the place around here. This is like the fifth of... Uh, so I loaded my truck, I offloaded the truck, which is good, I don't mind it. If it's Amazon, Amazon, I don't care, I don't mind. It's all good. Uh, it's time efficient, it takes me about 10, 15 minutes the most to load or unload, whereas I get there and I wait an hour and a half to get loaded. So I don't I don't mind it at all. Cause right now it's 610. I should be home by 7. Uh, so it's it's nice. Alright. Kind of read all the traffic right now. Uh so yeah. This is definitely this was uh an adventure because I'm like, alright. I've never actually, you know, I've been to Trenton, but I've never actually loaded myself. Uh, it was just a weird vibe doing it because you know the way they do it They probably know how to do it better than I do They probably could have put more of those whatever things in there Who knows but hey you can't blame me because It just wasn't working for me. I did my best uh, Probably could have got all the pallets and stuff But if they if I had done it right because I definitely had some space in between and I was like I don't know how to stake this thing up so it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I woke up at three in the morning. I am done at seven. I'm on my way home and I can call it a day right now, but um, <laughs> when your day is about to start, I can call mine the day. Um, but we got a load for the night and we'll see what's up during the day. We might find a day load. You know, I might pick it up because Boy, is not that tired, you know. Once you, you know, three in the morning, four in the morning, that's a whole night of sleep. There's no trying to catch up on sleep right now, you know. So, we'll see what goes. Um, and if we find a day load, that's cool. If we don't, that's cool. We have a load at 8 p.m., so it's all good. Anyways, I'm gonna cut it short. I'm gonna cut it right here. I will catch up with you guys later on. Down. What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, we're still on the same day. Now I'm heading back to pick up my 8 p.m. load. And then once we pick up the 8 p.m. load, we're gonna drop it off in Swissport. Then we're gonna wait for another load that's overnight going to the post office. So. I recall we did a morning load at 4 in the morning today. Went back home. Now I'm getting out again. So I got two more loads. Evening load and an overnight load. So yeah. It's it's gonna be fun. But um everything is time, you know. Once we pick up the 8 p.m. load, we're gonna get to the other location by 10:30 wait over there for the midnight load because there's no point of coming back here and going back it's the same you know there's no time for that so we we'll wait for the uh, midnight load once we get that load 
uh, then I'll come back this way and then uh, we'll head to the post office we actually pass through my house it's about 40 40 50 miles from my house so we actually pass through it I don't know if I want to stop by for like an hour or two because I know they're not gonna be over at like one uh, I don't know I'll, I'll figure it out if not I'll just drive over there and then just chill out over there Sometimes it's actually easier to do it that way, you know, not tired, you know. So that's the plan for tonight. Uh, we got diesel, three quarters I filled up last night. So we have three quarters of a tank right now. I filled up at 299, different gas station. So, yeah, we're good. We're good on diesel right now. We get three quarters dip fluid I do it up the other day that could take about two weeks so I don't have to worry about that right now so yep that is the schedule for tonight tomorrow is Thursday I believe I have one at 8 p.m. again then we'll probably have a post office overnight yep so after that, then we got, I don't know if I have something on Friday. If I do, I do. Yeah, it could be just the, the evening low. Um, then Saturday, I don't have anything for Saturday. Um, I don't know why. I guess I couldn't find anything, but we'll see if they have day loads. If not, we just chill. I, I do have some loads on Sunday. We have that Sunday early morning. No, I do have load for Friday. Friday morning at 4 in the morning. So we have another one 4 in the morning on Friday. Yeah, Friday morning. Then we have another one for the 4 a.m. in the morning on Sunday morning. Then I have a 8 p.m. on Sunday and that's it for that week. Uh, so tomorrow we will be booking loads for next week. I'm going to try to stay on it because I'm trying to get this Amazon to Amazon loads from like Monday to like Friday. I don't want to do any like post office runs. I'm just going to try to get two a day if I can. If I if I can't, then we'll just have to wait for the day loads that they post. Or maybe I'll just pick up one or two overnight loads. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So yep, stay tuned. Uh, it's the same drill. Once we get there, we're probably going to uh, wait for like another hour and get loaded in by 9 p.m. We should be at the other location at 10, 20, 10, 30. So yeah. That's it, stay tuned. All right, people, what's up, what's up? All right, so we finished with this load, just dropped it off. Um, they canceled my overnight load, so I am heading back home. I'm not gonna wait. That's not my style. I was gonna wait, but like four or five trucks parked outside right now, you know? Uh, waiting, so, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, for me, I already did. You know, I already did two loads today, so, you know, one in the morning and one right now, so, you know, it really don't matter. Um, it would have been nice, though, to have it since, you know, I don't really have anything going on until tomorrow at night. So, tomorrow, uh, I have another load at 8 p.m. I don't have anything for the daytime, so we want to see if we can find one for the daytime. Uh, if we don't, it's all good. I have over, I have a load for uh, 8 p.m. Then I have a load for 4 in the morning. So you know those two, we can say those are those are guaranteed. Uh, so just you know, if we find something on the board for tomorrow, you know, morning, uh, tomorrow afternoon, that's easy to do. Then we'll do it. And uh, yeah. So that's it for tonight, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna be looking at, at anything. I'm not coming back this way. Once I get to the other side, uh, there's no point of me coming back this way tonight. So I guess tonight, that's it. It's a wrap for tonight. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, man, uh, the, the morning load, that was pretty easy to do. Um, there it took me about three hours, you know, four hours I was back home. I left at like 
3 in the morning, 3 30 in the morning. I was back home by 7 15. Uh, uh, yeah, so you know, that wasn't bad at all. You know, less traffic in the morning, too. Uh, and it seems like once you get there, you know, you load yourself up, which is good, you don't have to wait. So it's kind of like in and out, you know, I was there. Four fifteen, four ten. I was out by four thirty. You know, so that wasn't bad at all. But anyways, uh, we'll continue tomorrow, and we'll see how that go. If you like the stuff again? You know, subscribe to the channel. You know, share, comment. Uh, let me know what y'all want to. You know, what y'all want to talk about? What you want me to go through? And I can definitely do that. But again, thank you for watching. And